As DTF technology is maturing, we're learning more and more about its true capabilities. What we're gonna find out today is, can it compete with a screen printer for a 100 piece order? Hi, I'm Jeremy with DTF Superstore. Before we get started, I'm gonna lay out some assumptions that we've made. First, that the customer provided graphic is ready to go. No need for editing. Second, that you have all of the blank shirts ready. Finally, we're gonna be using just one person for all the labor, the cutting, printing, and pressing, which will be me today. I have the customer provided graphic here on this thumb drive. Let's start the clock. So starting off, we're gonna open up CadLink and pull our file in, Finley Farms. You'll be tempted to do a whole bunch of copies, like a hundred of them, but it's best for the gang sheets if you only do 10 to 20 per gang sheet. That way, if something goes wrong in the printing process, you can kind of stop, restart, and you don't have to like keep track of your numbers. So we're gonna do, I think, 10 to 15 on this sheet. Let's see how they lay out. I know I want these to each be about six and a half inches wide, which should fit three of them across. And then let's do five of them down, making our number 15, right? And save it, print it, and we're gonna load it up into print exp and get it printing on our mongoose 2 printer now one of these people don't realize is you can actually set up a certain number of copies so we know we got about 15 of them uh, i'm going to right click here and on task settings i'm going to do five of these to start with and basically what this does is it just means that when it's done printing it's going to start printing the next one so i don't have to manually keep coming back and restarting it all right here we go all right, well, those are printing. I'm gonna come over to our lightning press, our six station heat press. We will have a video coming out that goes more in depth about how this thing works, how to do setup and adjustments. But for right now, I'm just gonna get it going. So we know we wanna do about 260 degrees Fahrenheit, which is about 126 Celsius. And before you put in the comments that that's too low, our shirts we're printing on are 100% polyester. So we do wanna use a little bit lower temperature to not have any of those burn marks on it. And then our press time, we wanna press for about 20 seconds. With this heat press, there's about a four second time gap for the heat press coming down and going back up. So we wanna press for 20 seconds, but we're gonna set our time for 24 seconds. We're just gonna leave it here and let it heat up while we're waiting for these prints to finish. All right, so those are printing. I've got the dryer all threaded and it's going. I'm gonna start laying out a few shirts on this to kind of get myself ahead of the game a little bit. Now these are Youth XL shirts. So they won't thread nicely onto a platen because they're a little bit smaller. The only thing you wanna make sure is just get the collar off of the platen. I'm not very good at this part. <laughs> So it just started the next set of 15 without me doing anything. So it's nice and automated. You just want to keep an eye on things, but yeah, pretty much does its own thing. The first 15 have finished printing. So I'm going to cut them off. We're going to take them over to our guillotine cutter and cut them out individually. And then we're going to start pressing. Okay, so I'm gonna pause this for a moment because one person doing all of this definitely gets chaotic. So I've got a bunch more prints coming off here. I think I'm gonna kind of do the rest of the cutting and then do the pressing separate from that. I was hoping I could do both at the same time, but a little bit too much. We're still gonna get an accurate representation of one person doing this job. I'm just changing up my strategy a little bit.
Well, it's been a couple days since I got done doing what you just watched. And that was exhausting. That three hour, seven minute timer, I definitely think there's some noob factor in there. I've literally never done a 100 shirt run like that. After having done it, I think reasonably with some practice, <laughs> I could probably get my time for 100 shirts down to probably two and a half hours. Now I know from speaking to some screen printers, I asked how long it would take one person to do it. And most of them said it would probably take between uh, two, 15 to maybe three hours. We're in a pretty similar ballpark for screen printing versus DTF from a time standpoint. But I think what this shows is that if you're looking to add DTF to your garment decorating business, or if you're looking to start a garment decorating business, DTF is a totally viable option, even if you're gonna do large orders. I'm sure you're wondering what we're gonna do with 100 Youth XL maroon t-shirts. Well, we reached out to uh, one of our local elementary schools in Gilbert, Arizona, Finley Farms Elementary, and uh, we reached out to them and said, we'd like to make you some t-shirts. What would you like on it? They said they wanted the Gilbert Water Tower with their school's logo on it. Now we've got 100 here, but we actually are making 80 more. We're gonna make those in a future video where we're comparing how long it takes to do shirts on different heat presses that we have. So keep an eye out for those videos. Uh, but then we're also going to take all of them over and donate them. So we will post about that on our Facebook. So if you haven't already, follow us on Facebook. Keep an eye out for those videos and appreciate you guys watching and we'll see you next time.